<clears throat> Does anyone else remember Fred? Or the uh, black fellow who sang Chocolate Rain? How about uh, Dramatic Look Gopher? Or the one-off video from someone screaming to leave Britney alone while under a bed sheet that famously and infamously got used by the movie Meet the Spartans, which was a spoof of 300. Anybody remember these things? Because Pepperidge Farm remembers, and so do I. Fred had, um, what was it, three or four movies. Three or four movies that Fred had. I remember because he got onto what a lazy boy and drove himself through a car wash or went through it standing up or something. I don't remember exactly what he was on. I think he was standing up. I only remember that because it was in the commercial. Or how about the guy who made dancing stormtrooper videos? <clears throat> Anybody else remember when YouTube started? 16 some odd years ago. No, well over 16 years ago. I do. Anybody remember? Um, it was either one of those. Inside Gaming Daily, or some other news, news, self-proclaimed alternate media channels on YouTube, when some dumb bitch said that the Wild West days of YouTube were over. Anybody else remember that? I do. So is Pepperidge Farm. But cookies are beside the point. The point I'm getting at and doing this slow ass fucking build up to is that those weren't the fucking Wild West days. Wild West was a fallacy that never fucking existed. Those, uh, those days of YouTube were before capitalistic cronyism, the hybrid system that ruins the American way of life, bureaucratized and corporatized, or to shorten those two words, fucked up YouTube. So the system of cronyism, which is where your cronies, your friends... You do favors for them, they do favors for you. Money exchanges between the two of you. That's how the super rich stay super fucking rich. That's how Oprah can afford to throw out fucking cars to her entire fucking audience all the time. Cronyism. Because she fucks senators and shit. Because she's a whore. Because she, she's their crony. Their buddy. 
their chummy chum pow pow. Because that's how the corrupt way of life here in America really fucking works. You make high powered friends, and powered being the, the opportune word there. They do favors for you, you do favors for them. And the whole of America is run like one big fucking mafia. So, I'll ask you again. Does anybody remember when literally anyone could become famous on YouTube because of their individuality and their exercising their freedom of expression to do whatever the fuck they wanted to do and they could become famous for it because that's the way YouTube used to be before capitalistic cronyism Mike Maloney from Silver and Gold, he knows what I'm talking about. But do any of you, besides myself, remember these things? The world's a steaming pile of shit now. YouTube you're the all if null of the American way of life now you fuck over small channels who have nothing you make bullshit rules that you changed and I know this cause I fucking went through I went through your uh, partnership entry program five fucking times and got kicked out back to back to back to back to back every fucking time just because you wanted to change the fucking rules. And I met the criteria for every last one of them every time up until your final change. Which required yay so many watch hours in the past year. And yay so many fucking thousands of subscribers. Just so you didn't have to pay out pennies to people. Because so many people were entering the partnership program. And Susan Widgie Bitch wanted fucking money. And it was becoming bureaucratized and corporatized and cronytized and capitalized. So now, the only way to get anywhere on YouTube is to jump through their imaginary hoops, which it's complete bullshit. You can't say fucking anything that you want to say you have to say what they want you to say because you have to be their chummy chum pow pow crony buddy you have to suck their non-existent dick to get anywhere on YouTube and then you have to pay Google and Alphabet to advertise for you you can't advertise for yourself I tried that and they fucking deleted my last well I've had three channels deleted. The last one for advertising for myself. <clears throat> Trying to engage in the comment section with other YouTube channels. That didn't fucking work. So if you, if you post a certain number of comments within one person's comment section they'll shut your ass down if you post links 
they'll basically auto hide your comments in someone else's comment section no matter what if you're like me and you exercise your goddamn constitutional and civilly protected freedom of fucking speech your unalienable right to live your own fucking life how you so see fit and tell the corrupt motherfuckers to go kill themselves, they'll shut your fucking YouTube videos down just because you're exercising your fucking rights. If you're not already famous, you don't have a fuck of a chance. If you don't pay Google Ads to advertise for you, you're not going to get fuck off reviews. So if you don't pay them or do what they want you to do, you're not going to get any fucking wear on YouTube. Which is why... I only have like 50 fucking people who bothered to fucking hit the subscribe button. Well, that's before, before I shut down my fucking channel. And then I've had so many channels deleted, you know, three of them. But this one person, not me, gets their channel demonetized because they're extremely niche and they don't appeal to billions of fucking ad revenue. And they're completely able-bodied, unlike myself. I'm on fucking disability for RA. I'm not going to get a fucking job. This other person, completely able-bodied, goes off and does uh, shooting at YouTube's headquarters. Now, granted, yeah, Susan Widgie bitch up at YouTube fucking deserved that shit. Because of the capitalistic cronyism that infiltrated and corrupted YouTube. Now, granted, I didn't give a fuck for uh, Fred's over exuberant attitude and his extremely high energy output. Uh, what, what kind of comedy? He had slapstick type of comedy. It was crude, rudimentary, and childish. But then again, back in those days, anyone could get famous on YouTube. It was the meaning of YouTube. It, it was fucking YouTube, broadcast yourself. Now it's YouTube. We've hidden the broadcasting yourself away in an exclusive set of cronyistic capitalistic contract statements and if statements and lawyer fees that you have to pay us an absorbent amount of fees on top of following our bullshit rules that violate your rights which we call our terms of service and oh by the way YouTube yeah I'm not legally required to comply with your Coppa bullshit, that's on you, YouTube, Susan Widgie Bitch, Apple, Google. That's that's on not Apple. Fucking Google Alphabet. Two A words. Fuck it. That's on you fuckers. You're the fucking pieces of shite fucking collecting data. Not me. So I'm not legally required to do jack fuck all shit there.
Now, because of how corrupt the American way of life is, and, you know, because YouTube is the all if null of the American way of life, uh, let's see, how, how long ago? Sometime just before or at the beginning of April, I sent a seven page letter up to the fucking Supreme Court, you know, telling them just basically, look, the American way of life is corrupt. Either give me control of it <clears throat> or get the fuck out of my way and give me uh, immunity to all your corrupt bullshit. I don't give a fuck which, but get the fuck out of my way. Basically. And I wrote it in their own bullshit legalese terms. And I've still got the uh, rich text file. I'll fucking email it to whoever the fuck wants to read it. I've still got two paper copies. Anybody want to read those? Basically, the United States is in default of the Constitution as well as its um, primary founding document, commonplacely known as the Declaration of Independence. And yes, it is a factual document. The part in which they're in violation of is everyone's unalienable rights. The American government system has become a corrupt tyranny. And like I'm going to paraphrase from the Declaration of Independence, it is the responsibility and right of the citizen to rise up against said tyranny and to abolish it and its government and to reestablish in its place one that will protect the rights of the citizen. And to quote, uh, what, 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 document was it for the citizen by the citizen yeah. for the people by the people so <clears throat> yeah another bit that uh, Mike from Silver and Gold will get uh, yeah I watched the last two or three videos of his um, um, his, his 10 video playlist I forgot what it's called <laughs> I think I made another video of it a while back where he's talking about uh, what is it bread and uh, circus, bread and circus. And in America, you have uh, football and hot dogs. Same difference, it's just a different, uh, a different texture thrown over the core mechanic at play there. And everyone on the planet is so strung out on antipsychotics and antidepressants so horribly yeah because the 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 system the the governments are so corrupt and they're putting people through that much fucking stress that 90% most likely 90% at this point I'm estimating that it's pretty damn close to 90% at this point of the populace is under so much stress that they need to be on these drugs 
that delude the mind and keep them from seeing the truth that they're they're nothing more than slaves now. Just like the Olive Null, the same truth regarding YouTube that you're you're not a content creator anymore. You're a slave. If you don't do exactly what they tell you, how they tell you, basically think what they tell you to think, do what they tell you to do, say what they tell you to say, literally say what they tell you to say, which controls your thought process. Doing and saying what people tell you to do and say changes and alters your thought process so that you think what they tell you to think because... Repetition builds memory. Memory becomes thought process. Thought process becomes dictating, governing system in place in your mind that makes you do and say and think what you do and say and think. It's a cycle. It feeds back on itself. And I'm not going to be a part of the corruption you can't fucking control me. You can't tell me what the fuck to do, say, and think, and I'll obey. That's not just... That's just not gonna happen. Not with YouTube, not with the corrupt tyranny known as the United States of America. You know, there's a lot more to it than just being a tyranny. Because when a, when a senator tells you that the Constitution that he has sworn to uphold and protect is above his pay grade, then you know beyond the possibility of the shadow of the doubt, you know 100 fucking percent out of 100 fucking percent that that little bitch is corrupt. And that little bitch is just a sign of how corrupt the entire system really is. I'm saying this not as a warning. Hey, you better fucking change because shit's about to happen. I'm saying this because, hey sheeple, wake the fuck up while you still can. It's too late for the corrupt bitches in charge of everything. Because it's spiraling out of their control. Well, it has been since uh, three months before the uh, outbreak of this little virus that happens, you know, once every 100 years. Not the virus itself, but the pandemic. The act of there being a pandemic that fucks over humanity across the, the board. Every 100 years, like clockwork, it, this happens. Anyone who looks at history can tell you that. That's why prepper channels were telling everybody on YouTube, you better get your shit ready. You better have yourself a fucking garden already. You better have your fucking plan. You better get ready. You better be ready. You should have been ready. Why aren't you ready? And that's why all the the rich assholes in charge have been disappearing. Trying to go into hiding in their bunkers and shit. Well, it's not going to work. How long do you think anyone can hide in a bunker? I mean, you can't fucking hide in there forever. Let's say they do get into a bunker. And it's, um... It's fucking self-sustaining. Which is pretty much impossible. Unless you've got trillions of dollars to throw into it. To pay. <laughs> to keep it hidden. And to build this massive facility that recycles literally everything. Even at that point. There's a lot of things that can be missed easily. But let's say they've got their bunker that's self-sustaining. They're going to have to stay in it forever. Because they're never going to develop the immunity 
to this virus. This the uh, the coronavirus, the kung flu, as I like to call it, because that's just fucking cool, because it kicks your fucking ass. They're never going to develop immunity f for it. So they'll stay down there forever. Out of touch from the rest of the world. They'll never come back to the surface. They'll never leave their bunkers. Because as soon as they do, they're going to get infected and it's going to kill them. See, you can't live in a fucking hole in the ground to escape it. And what this little tiny, almost invisible virus has done. It has been the magic bullet that has sh shot itself into the corrupt system of governance across the entire planet and is toppling the corrupt tentacle, tyrannical tentacle <laughs> It is a system of tentacles piling shit on itself, for real. On a scaffolding of shit. And you can't build a tower made out of shit. Not a skyscraper. Not that you can work in. It's toppling the tyranny. The corruption. It's fucking hilarious. It really is. Because it's showing everyone how fucked up their so-called leaders really are. To the point where their so-called leaders who have sworn to uphold their constitutional rights says that the, the fucking constitution is above their pay grade. Fucking words. I just got up, so fucking words. Yeah, let's say, uh, let's say you, um, you go to a grocery store and they just suddenly say, oh, selling groceries is above our fucking pay grade. Yeah, sorry, you're, you're, you need to eat? You eating is above our fucking pay grade. Yeah. We're not going to sell you groceries. Fuck off. Imagine that. <clears throat> That's essentially what that senator said. In the legalese equivalent. He said, your life that I've sworn to take care of when being elected into office. Yeah, fuck that. It's worthless. I don't get paid enough for that. That's what you're being told, America. You mindless sheeple fucks who are strung out on drugs because your leaders are oppressing you and terrorizing and being a tyrannical piece of shit to you so much. So, it's all circling the drain from here. And it's absolutely fucking hilarious. And it makes me absolutely fucking livid. <clears throat> To watch the assholes who think they were in control of everything, who think they have power, it excites me. At a, a level that I thought died years ago, it excites me. It, it really does make me happy to see that their fake control and their fake power is, is just gone. It doesn't exist. It never did. I'm so glad to see 
their idea of fake power is just blowing up in their face. Because America is heading down two paths simultaneously. You're going for a civil fucking war and a fucking world war. And America, you fucking deserve it. Here, you've been served. Fuck off.